Welcome to A1 South Trail RV Service and Supplies. Today we're going to talk about the replacement of a water pump on an older motor home. This is a 1986 Mallard and we're going to replace the water pump which is in the back behind one of the beds. Hi, this is Bruce Hicks. Well, whether your motorhome is new or old, it's pretty much the same procedure on certain things. And right now, I'm going to invite you inside and we're going to change a pump. This is a 12-volt pump for your kitchen, your shower, and your toilet. And like I say, whether it's an old style or a new style, the procedure is the same. You need basic tools. Come on in, I'll show you how it's done. So our situation right now is that we're changing this pump and simply the best way to do it is to take that one out, to take that one out because these are an unscrewing which is not a big problem. We'll remove this pump, we'll come in with the another pump which the new style like I was saying before has the removable plugs on it, okay? so. We'll put this pump, this is why we have the wet vac so there's no water in here. We'll put this on here, which any of you people can do, it's not a problem. You know, sometimes I get a guy calling me with a suit and tie, he's afraid to touch something because he's really behind the desk all day. But this is for you suit and tie guys, this is fairly easy. You screw that in, the rubber bushing. Now what I'm doing first is I'm attaching the hoses first. When I attach the hoses first, I snug them up. And now I'll bolt this right back to where it was, but I'll actually lay it in its neutral position so there's no strain on any of the hoses. You see it falls just nice. I put it back in a nice spot. like an airstream and uh, the guy really loves this particular unit so we're rebuilding it for him. We put a brand new floor in with marine plywood and this is a new floor we're putting in here and boy look how great that looks. It's really a beautiful floor. But by the time we're done it'll be done very professionally. It looks great and uh, this is the wall we put up. And once we get done with the floor and the wall, then we can start entering, you know, the kitchen and the bathroom and the bed back in the unit. And this is what the guy wanted to go hunting with his family and his kids. And uh, it's just working out great. Here's an RV that a guy bought on eBay. And uh, I think he picked it up in Texas. Is on our way back to Motor Blue. Uh, he was halfway on the road and maybe he didn't really pay attention and check everything like he should and the motor blew and now that cost him thirty thousand dollars just for an engine but we will get you from point a to point b we are the people that do the work and know what works and what doesn't work but we can only try to instruct you if you're stuck at a campsite or if you're stuck over on the road we'll try to help you out in that matter and then if you come in for service well that's a whole different thing we'll try to help you that way too but uh, there is basic things that you need to know on the road and when you're stuck with your family and stuff, give us a call and we'll guide you one way or the other. I'm pretty sure you'll make it back home. Thank you.